I am here with Chicken George, who is probably one of the most well-known. Yeah, what Wrangler? What do you do? What do we call? It? What's your title? <laughs> I am a bidder's assistant. They call him at the world famous, the one and only, the best auto auction in the world, Mika. How? Okay. How'd you get this job? I was very fortunate. I was working at a car auction, Illinois. Uh, the lead auctioneer, Mr. Mark Dizelle, asked me, hey, Mark, I, I've always watched Meekum on television. If there's any way in the world you could possibly ever give me the opportunity to work for these ge gentlemen, keep in mind, I don't call it work. Mm -hmm. Neither this do I. Job, this job, I am so blessed to have because I've always enjoyed automobiles. I've always enjoyed the people and everything else like this. So it was a combination of all coming together and like this job is utterly fantastic. I'm a very, very blessed man to do what I do. And and you, you know, uh, you make it fun, man. I mean, you get out there we're watching it. You get the guy does it. I'm not going to give. No, I'm not going to give twenty five thousand. You're like, oh, you're going to give me twenty five thousand. You know. And you, so, how do you get into that mode? I and mean, where does that come from? Where's that energy come from? Um, it, it's what you call. You have to have the ability to do this job. You have, you have to have the ability to read people. Is mm -hmm. basically what it comes down to. And the way I look at it like this is, you have people coming to the auction that I've always wanted this automobile. Exactly. They've wanted this car and they've done everything that they could. And I consider it an honor. I'm as, I'll tell you this truthfully, I'm as happy for them to get the car as they are buying it. Because they're getting to see a dream in their life finally come true. And it, you know whether it takes them back to their, you know, their teenage, their 20s or their 30s, you know, when they were driving down the road and they, they had that feeling, you know? Exactly. And, and that's what it amounts to me. And that's why I do not consider this a, this a job to me. This is not a job. And that's what the car community, people don't understand. That's what, I mean, this kind of car, all these cars, that's what it does. It brings a community together, a spirit, the American spirit. Uh, it, I've always loved automobiles, okay? And to see what comes through here, what people have done, how they've maintained these cars, mm -hmm. have kept them for 20, 30 years, and they have less than 5,000 miles on it's them. It's incredible. Okay, they've, they've loved these cars all these years, maintain it and take care of them. And finally they say, you know what? It's time to cut it loose and bring it mm -hmm. through. And that's why when I go to work for them, them people selling that car, I know that their heart and their soul, and it's been a part of their life of them, this automobile. And it's an honor. It's an honor to represent them and to work with them to actually sell their automobile to somebody that appreciates it as much as they do. Exactly, and and that's the thing. It's you you bring an energy up. I mean, I'm telling you, the the auction. You cannot be not. You got to be excited when you're when you're out there and you're doing this stuff. And these and these people are watching. You're like, you get it, get it, get it. And they're wanting you to win. I mean, it's like it's like okay, is this guy gonna get the bid? Is this guy gonna? And you're over there, yeah, yeah. And it's me. And you get excited. And you're like, that's awesome. So. <laughs> but no, but no. Keep in mind is. This is a job, it's, it's not a job, it's something that I enjoy as a passion. doing. Yes. And I know there's thousands of people out here that would love to do what I do. And that's why I appreciate it so much and I put everything I have into what I do here. Because I enjoy it so much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we do one more favor, give me two thumbs up to the camera. Chicken Yo! George, everybody, Chicken George. <laughs>